Do you want it? I call him a little puppy cat. Apollo. I'm Russell, and this is Apollo's story for GeoBeats. He's like a living teddy bear. I got him when he was three months old in 2012. I had lost my last cat. He was up for adoption. Him and his sister, actually. At my veterinary clinic, they would um, rotate uh, cats that need homes. I got both of them at the same time because it would be nice for the cats to have company with each other. They came from a home where they weren't staying or neutering the cats and there were just a lot of cats and they couldn't take care of them. Artemis is a very shy, skittish cat. And Apollo is just very friendly and cuddly all the time. Pretty chatty cat. He's always yelling for food, excited for food, jumping for food. I'm a pretty tall person, so he can jump pretty high, which is really cool. I'm 6'1", and the highest I've ever held a treat for him is a few inches above my head, like 6'4". And he's been able to jump that high and grab a treat, which is very impressive, I think. You can't have cookies. I can sort of hold a conversation with him. Don't give me that attitude. The last two and a half years, I've been working from home, and he has become so, so attached to me. He follows me around the house like a puppy, and he's always at the door when I come home. There have been a few times where I sleep in a little bit too long and he just gets right in my face and starts screaming at me, which uh, I, I love him so much that like even that doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> He's really good at telling me what he wants. <laughs> It'll be late at night, he'll go and lie down on the bed and look at me like, what are you doing? It's time to cuddle and go to bed. It's funny how he's so ravenous and really excited about the treat, but at the same time, he's not going to hurt me. He's kind of learned to be compassionate towards me. He wants to be part of what's going on. <laughs> it seems like a lot of his chattiness is because he wants to be included. His sister, Artemis, she is a cat cat. She wants to be left alone. She just doesn't want anyone to even look at her. Wait for it. Apollo is very dog-like in some ways, which is funny because I've always been drawn to cats. <laughs> We've been through a lot together. He's been with me through hard, my hard times. I've been with him through his hard times. What? He's had some dental issues. Just one thing after another, we just keep getting closer and closer. It brings me a lot of stability to be able to take care of him. I wish I could convey to him just how much he makes my life better. He's 10 years old and I'm really, really hoping that I can have him for a long time.